this. But what are your views on Colin Firth, the sex symbol? Um, no, no, I did fancy him in his uniform, <laughs> you know, with the medals. Do you remember that one? Yes. Um, Darcy, yeah. do, you, do you like him as Darcy? Mm. Yeah, 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 I did. I did, I did. I don't, you know, of course I did. I'd be a fool not to, yeah. You don't sound too keen on the latest version. No, 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 I do. It's just that I'm a married woman, so I can't, you know, <laughs> I mean, and I want the job for the next, you know, from the husband. But, um, so, no, 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 no. I did, I definitely fancied it in his, in his uniform. And uh, we didn't really get to snog. That was one sad thing. It wasn't that kind of Would film. you fancy Pierce in the same uniform? No. I'm sorry, Piers. <laughs> I'm not Susan you Boyle. You have hesitated. But, you know, a lot of people fancy you, don't you? And do you, you know, have you ever had any... Have you ever fancied any of the contestants, Piers? On, on, on the talent shows? Or, I, I, was quite, yeah. I was actually very fond of Susan Boyle. I thought she had an unusual I'm, attraction, which I found very appealing. I'm glad. Yeah. Because then... Um, yeah, no, I mean, you be I, was, I'm, I watched I'm that episode to the when she actually looking. started speaking. <laughs> huh? I said, you should be pleased I'm attracted looking. to the unusual And eyebrows, look. I've got eyebrows. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, well, no, I think she's an amazing, and I was there when I, well, I wasn't there, obviously you were there, but um, when she started singing, and it was truly magical. You must have been, what did it actually feel like? Oh, to be at Susan Boyle's audition. That was one of the most extraordinary yeah. things I've ever seen in my life. Wasn't it? Well, to it see a woman been. come out who's, you know, a 48-year-old spinster in a tiny Scottish village and everyone's laughing at her. She's having to sing like Elaine Page and we're all sniggering and everything else. And then to watch yeah, yeah. her do what she did and then to see this week, I think, in the American album chart, she's number one with her second album. So two number one albums in America outselling Lady Gaga is a kind of stuff of dreams. It's I an know, amazing it story. It is. It is. And given the song was I Dreamed a Dream. And if, if, if it was magic, it was absolutely hair, hair raising. If, if Susan Boyle was here now, Colin, singing I Dreamed a Dream, would your dream involve the Academy Awards, end of February, standing there, clutching the gong, making the speech you've been preparing and practicing for probably 40 years? I'm, you know, the thing that happens with this um, uh, age, uh, the extraordinary advanced age I reached, is that it's not only the long term memory go going. Um, the short-term memory is beginning to wither a little bit as well. <laughs> and any projection into the future is becoming impossible. So all I think of now is how to get out of this interview unscathed. <laughs> That's my dream, you know. And if there's a gong to be had tomorrow, then somebody hopefully will, will, will be able to tell me about that. You, you by the time this airs, you will have received your, your, your star, your Hollywood star. Yes. I mean, what a moment. It is. It is a moment. Would it be, if you were to win an Oscar for this... Would it be the great moment of your career? Is it the pinnacle? I don't know how much one even really dares to contemplate um, it, uh, dreams on that scale, really. I, I don't... Uh, no one would not love to win that mm. statue, you know? Nobody. Even if you're not an actor, it's probably one of those things that, mm. you know, one would allow oneself a dream about. But whether one's ever would dare dream about it in a way that's and in any, in any way real that you would actually aim at it. No, it's, it's, it's sort of beyond my thinking, really. Have you thought who you would dedicate it to, if anybody? Um, who you'd be thinking of in that moment? Well, you know, I, I've had... Can I, I chip in here? Yeah, go on, darling. <laughs> Me? You, do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> How can we forget? He, he couldn't have been king without her, so... <laughs> Same thing, yeah? <laughs> Just remember, okay, short-term memory. I'll give you cue cards. I, you know, if I don't get... I, I'm sure I'll be on the sidelines somewhere supporting you. So <laughs> just remember. Exactly, as Jeffrey said, I think we should, this exactly. should be on the other foot. This can't, we're having a very different conversation here. Was, Helena, it's Jeffrey and me. <laughs> well, look, I want to wish all three what? of you the best of luck. I, I love the film. I think it's one of the best films I've seen in a long time. I think that all of you in different ways deserve great recognition in this award season. Thank you for coming here, Colin, being one of my first guests in the new sparkly studio. Thank you, Helena, down in London. And I want to thank Geoffrey for getting up such uh, an early time in Australia. Geoffrey, thank you so much. Thank you, Piers. And good luck to all three of you. 
I really, I really hope it is crowning Thank glory you. for you because it deserves you. it. Thanks. Thank you, Colin. Thank you, Pierce. Thank you no, very Colin's much. No, Colin's going to get it. <laughs>